Hi, I'm Pam McCoslin, a psychology professor at the University of Michigan Dearborn. I'm going to be talking today about relationship science, which is also known as the psychology of interpersonal relationships. So interpersonal relationships, whether we're talking about our friendships, our family relationships, or our relationships with our romantic partners, are an important part of most people's lives. In fact, we spend a lot of time thinking about and effort towards our relationships. But I bet you there's some questions you might have about relationships and relationship science can help to answer some of those questions. For example, have you ever wondered what happens to the kids that are constantly bullied or teased or rejected by their peers? Or what about online dating? Have you ever thought about whether this is true? Like, can we find lasting love through these online dating websites or is it all a big scam? Or what about if you know somebody who's in a really bad relationship? What is it that makes people stay in those bad relationships? What's going on there? Relationship science is a largely interdisciplinary field with researchers from psychology, sociology, and communications. Within psychology, we see it's predominantly from social psychology, clinical psychology, and developmental psychology, but people from across psychology, various areas might be interested in the psychology of interpersonal relationships. If you've taken any psychology classes, you've likely already been exposed to some relationship science. Attachment theory was developed to consider how children develop attachments to their primary caregivers. And relationship scientists have extended this to consider adult attachment style and how that influences how we feel in our close relationships. Another theory that you might have been exposed to is Robert Sternberg's triangular theory of love passion, intimacy, and commitment are the three components that make up different types of love. So as you can see, the types of topics that are covered by relationship science are pretty diverse, but I thought I'd give you a few more here. For example, relationship science have looked at the link between personality and relationships. They've also looked at dating and sexual behavior, or how social relationships influence our health. As you might imagine, having positive relationships is really good for our health. But relationships aren't always so rosy, so relationship scientists have also looked at the darker side of relationships. Things like dysfunctional communication patterns, jealousy, cheating, and even aggression in relationships. Someone who specializes in the psychology of interpersonal relationships might take a variety of career paths. With a PhD, individuals can teach in either a psychology or a communications department. Somebody who has a master's or a PhD in either clinical or counseling psychology might go on to do couple therapy or family therapy. And there's other types of jobs that relate to kind of helping individuals to improve or find relationships. This might include developing or running groups for kids that struggle with their friendships or working with schools to create materials and programming for comprehensive sex ed so that we're aiming to not only create healthier sexual education, but healthier relationships as well. And relationship scientists have been involved in not only developing the questionnaires, but also developing the matching algorithms that are used by some of the big online dating companies. If you're interested in finding out more about the psychology of interpersonal relationships, consider taking Psych 325. It's usually offered in the fall, Psychology of Interpersonal Relationships. I've also provided a couple of websites here that you might want to check out. The first is for the International Association of Relationship Research, and the second is for the Social Psychology Network. It's a general social psychology website, so there's lots of great information about social psychology, but there's also a section devoted to interpersonal relationships. And finally, feel free to get in contact with me, email me if you have any questions. Thanks.